Panthers TV in association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems, joined by assistant coach Kevin Moore. And Kevin, how, how do you assess the weekend? You came to a low scoring game, came to a high scoring game. Do you take positives from both days or as a coaching staff are you thinking we've got to be better in some areas? I think as coaches, we always think we have to be better. But the, the big positive is that we're learning how to win in different, different ways, right? We're learning how to win in high scoring games. We're learning how, learning how to win in low scoring games. And that, that's really positive. But, you know, on both sides of the puck, there are things we got to correct. And that, that's kind of what we're doing in practice. They say good teams find a way to win and talk about that. And also good teams find a way when, when not playing well. So how much of a positive that is this, that this team's on a, a momentum swing right now? It's really positive. I mean, I, th I think early in the year, that's what you hope for, right? Like, you really hope that you string together a few early and the guys get confidence. Um, you know, and on the flip side of it, it's good that we're not playing our best at times because I think it gives us sort of more motivation to see where we can take this, that maybe this team doesn't have a ceiling. So that's interesting to hear. So you and the guys understand that you're not playing the best. So, so the fans can know that there's actually even more to come from this team. I mean, you hope so. That's, that's why we're in it, right? Like, as coaches, you're always hoping for uh, peak performance, right? And, and that's what we're always pushing to. And, and we just got to make sure we're all pulling the rope in the right direction. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's the hope for sure. But that it's, it's up to us as coaches to motivate the players. It's up to the players to focus and, and really take their preparation seriously to, so we can get to that point. I spoke to Carl Neal in the week about the last Sheffield game. He made a good point owing it to the, to the fans and to the players themselves. Do, do you think you really agree with that sentiment? And also maybe to, to prove a point to Sheffield, you know, to kind of right the wrongs from, from that last, last game out against them? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we all know we laid an egg in that game. And um, to me, that's the beauty of sports is we can show the, fan our, the fans our resiliency and, and our, our grit and, and just our ability to make adjustments. And... You know, it is about us in here and about our effort and about, you know, us playing with our identity, us playing with our speed, which I think when we've done, I think people have been pleased with and, and certainly the coaching staff has been pleased with that. So we're working towards finding that consistency, but we take, you know, that game very seriously because, you know, every game is important. And we, we just, we, we really want to show our identity and we didn't do that the last time. And, and this is an opportunity for us to do that. I just want to make a question about Rock, about him at the weekend on Sunday. And, and Netminder, you can be really qualified to answer this question. In a high-scoring game, it, it must be tough for a, a Netminder to keep the focus. But what he did in overtime with that breakaway save and then in the shootout to come up huge, that was massive, wasn't it, for you? Yeah. I mean, we, we talk about sort of being, being Grant Fuhrer, meaning, you know, in those run-and-gun sort of 80s style Oilers games with Wayne Gretzky, like Grant Fuhr just made the big save. He made made one less, he made the big save at the right time, and that's what matters. And and we play a lot of games like that in the, this league. You know, that that's why we have Rock and Mike here, because we knew they were capable of, of playing that sort of Grant Fuhr style goaltending. And, you know, as as a goalie guy, you're really proud to see Rock do that and step up at the right moments. And, you know, he'd be the first to say it wasn't his his best 60, but when when the he needed to make the winning time save, he did. And that's, that's what goaltending really is about. It's not about the stats. It's, not, it's just make the winning time save and, and give your team a chance to win. And just finally, personally, I remember when you signed, you said you can't wait to get to Nottingham and, and feel that excitement of this passionate fan base. You've had quite a few exciting games here with late winners and thrilling moments. How much are you enjoying being on the bench and in, basically in front of this, this great crowd? Yeah, I love, I love it. It's, it's awesome. It's is good an atmosphere as I've ever been a part of, um, you know, from the, the entrances to the, the end of the game with the man of the match. So, like, everything's awesome. And it's top notch here and the fans are, are unbelievable. And I mean, I, as far as I know, they're the best fans in, in England and it's awesome. So it's, it's been a thrill for me so far and it, it should continue to be.